now, once again, Raymond Arroyo. Welcome back to The World Over. Pope Francis is set to visit the U.S. in September, but not before a stopover in Cuba. To explain the additional visit, we spoke earlier to the president of the Pontifical Council for the Family, Archbishop Vincenzo Paglia. In addition to his Vatican responsibilities, Paglia is also the postulator of the cause of Oscar Romero, who will be beatified this weekend. We explored it all with him, as well as his recent speech at the U.N. According to Crux, Paglia praised the ABC show Modern Family for raising family issues. He said that, quote, Phenomena like the media production Modern Family or same-sex marriage initiatives in a significant number of jurisdictions, the family has become the subject of increasingly intense interest and discussion. We got into that as well. Here's my exclusive interview with Archbishop Vincenzo Paglia. I want to start with the meeting with families to take place in Philadelphia in September. It was just announced that the Holy Father has decided to add a four-day visit to Cuba on the front end of the United States visit. If the purpose of coming here was to take part in this meeting for families and he really wanted to focus on that, why put the Cuba visit on the front end of the visit to the U.S.? So, you know, uh, the first reason uh, for to move to come uh, in the United States uh, remains, obviously, uh, Philadelphia. But uh, the importance of this country for all over the world uh, pushed the Pope to enlarge his visit. And uh, the last time, because of the event of the, 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 the history who, con who grow up, decided to start with uh, his visit in Cuba, then uh, uh, to Washington uh, <clears throat> to meet the Catholic bishops, mm -hmm. then uh, to speak uh, to the Congress, then at the United Nations. And the trip uh, to Philadelphia concludes this great and historical journey of the Pope Francis. Archbishop, uh, but wouldn't it have made more sense to start with the papal visit to the world meeting with families, to accent that first? The, the, the danger is, by the time he goes to Cuba for four days, Congress, the president, then he goes to the U.N., the, the Philadelphia event might seem an afterthought, to many in the media at least. Yeah, I think that uh, in any case, Philadelphia uh, would conclude this trip. And uh, the importance of this uh, uh, family meeting is uh, its uh, link with the Synod of Bishops, uh, which happened exactly seven days after, mm -hmm. in this sense. We have to think about Philadelphia as a bridge mm -hmm. between the uh, previous uh, steps uh, with uh, the Congress and uh, the United Nations at Cuba, and then the importance for the whole Catholic Church uh, of the Synod on the family. Archbishop, as you bring up the Synod on the Family, uh, your colleague, uh, Cardinal George Pell, head of the Economic Secretariat there at the Vatican, he made the comment to a pro-life group that he expects this Synod will massively endorse church teaching and church practice, even the practice of receiving the Eucharist under the traditional, uh, uh, within the traditional uh, aspects. Do you agree with him? that the Synod will reaffirm those uh, practices as well as teachings? Do you know? Uh, I don't know exactly. And uh, the Synod is, uh, is realized exactly for to reflect on this matter. Surely we have to increase our pastoral engagement. The doctrine is clear. Surely, we have to increase a lot our closeness to all kind of families, to families in a good health, to families blessed. And everywhere you have some signs. In this sense, I think that we have to enlarge 
our vision. We have to be sure that the Pope will lead us in order to, to push a new spring of families. Uh -huh. In this sense, we, we have to avoid some uh, too ideological perspectives. We uh -huh. have to increase uh, in our pastoral attitude. Uh -huh. Because now it's no time only to the, the, some uh, theoretical uh, description. The Pope won't uh, push the church and, uh, to be, and the believers to see the reality of families. We have to, ch to, uh, to show the mercy of God for everyone. We need so, families. So if I'm, if we I'm need in, all families. So if I'm interpreting what you're saying, the, the, you, you think there's still some latitude here. You're not, you don't share Cardinal Pell's conviction that there will be no change in practice or doctrine. You know, the doctrine uh, can be enlarged. We can go deeply. John, John 23rd used to say it's not a gospel who change, but us we understand, but us understand better the gospel. This has to be uh, uh, during the, the three weeks uh, uh, in the discussion mm -hmm. uh, among bishops. In this sense, uh, we don't change. We, we would like to go deeply. We would like to to uh, to find uh, good uh, words in order to announce uh, the gospel of family in the contemporary world. Your, Your Excellency, there was a report last week when you addressed the UN, uh, and the way that Crux, which is a uh, an in internet site owned by the Boston Globe, they suggested that you were complimenting and praising this Modern Family show, which is a sitcom here in the United States. Were you praising that uh, particular program? So I suggested, and, uh, and uh, I emphasize a lot, uh, this uh, point. In my opinion, uh, all governments have to understand uh -huh. that the family is the, an indispensable resource of our societies. I say in a synthesis, strong family means strong society. Feeble pa families, feeble societies. In this sense, uh, the traditional family that is uh, mother, father, uh, children, grandparents, uh, grandchildren, so uh, as the, the real engine of our society. Mm -hmm. Because the family is the first school of solidarity, the first school of living together among different people. Mm. We need this. In this sense, the current society needs more family, nor less. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, I just, just to clarify, so you, you agree with that report? You were praising the Modern Family show? These are not the, the heart of the question. This is a peripheral question. The real problem is the majority of a normal, ordinary family who continues to sustain our societies. In this sense, uh, we have to remember, uh, and the Church, the Pope, Pope Francis, in this sense, uh, pinpoint the, the, the question, and he asked to all church, all Catholic church, to put in the center of the concern the family. In my opinion, all societies, all governments, all people of culture have to bring again family as the art of our society. Uh -huh. In this sense, we can surely have a great debate around the other questions. But we, it, uh, if we run the risk to forget the art, mm -hmm. We surely we will have a feeble, feeble societies. Okay, final question. I know you're the postulator of the Oscar Romero cause, which is moving now, uh, and uh, he will be proclaimed a saint. 
Uh, there are still questions, and we see this popping up in some of the media accounts, uh, questions that he may have embraced liberation theology. You would say what to those charges? And that that was the reason he was killed, because of his political actions rather than uh, as a matter of faith. You know, Romero used to say that they follow the Paul the Sixth theological liberation, theological liberation. That is uh, the integral liberation, not only political, either uh, a sort of uh, Marxist analysis. Romero wanted uh, to help the poor people in the name of Jesus, in the name of the gospel. In this sense, he chose to stay with his people in order to defend his uh, dignity, to defend, to promote justice, to promote peace. And uh, the persecutors wanted to push Romero to be silent. And that's why they killed him. Mm. Archbishop, thank you so much for being with us, and we hope to see you again perhaps next time when we're in Rome. Thank you to you and uh, all uh, uh, viewers. Thank you.